relationship between velocity wavelength and uh, frequency velocities of wave uh, velocities of wave is the distance of propagations per unit time in the fixed directions of the wave means uh, how much the distance travel in one unit of time uh, the one unit of time can be one seconds or one minutes or one hours and then uh, is uh, denoted or is given by the formula v equals to f lambda v is the speed uh, or the velocities of the wave uh, f is the frequency of the wave and uh, lambda lambda is the uh, wavelength eh? lambda this is this suppose eh? this is lambda so lambda is the wavelength of the wave okay uh, there is a lot of calculations eh? uh, that related to these equations and uh, some of the calculations can be quite hard actually so make sure that you remember this formula v equal to f lambda uh, factors affecting v f and lambda okay so what will affect your frequency and uh, what will affect your speed and what will affect your wavelength let's start with the first one let's start with the frequency i would like to discuss the frequency first huh? always remember the frequency of a wave is determined by the source of the wave it depends on how fast the source vibrate if the source vibrate very fast then the frequency is high and if the source vibrates very slow then the frequency is low and is it is not affected by the velocity and the wavelength you cannot change the speed to change the frequency no and you cannot change the wavelength to change the frequency so it's not affected by v it's not affected by lambda it only affected by the source of the wave yeah for example a piano a piano okay you can use a piano to produce sound with different frequency like do re mi fa so okay do so the frequency depends on the key that you strike if you strike do then the frequency is always do okay you cannot say i strike do but i change the speed then it become re you cannot the frequency of a wave uh, is always affected by the source only okay by the source only yeah sometimes uh, okay in exam they will give you something like this they will give you the graph they ask you which one is the correct graph they give you frequency okay frequency against velocity or frequency against wavelength they ask you to sketch the graph or they give you the graph they ask you which one is the correct graph okay now a lot of students they see mm, from the formula uh, the frequency is here and the v is here so it looks like they are directly proportional which means if the velocity increase the frequency will increase okay looks like they are directly proportional so, so so they will give the graph something like this and this is not correct why because i told you just now the frequency is not affected by the v no matter how the v change the frequency will not change the frequency will only affected by the source of the wave so therefore the correct answer for the graph should be this so the frequency remain unchanged even though the velocity changed from zero to a very high velocity the frequency still remain unchanged for the wavelength also is is still the same okay still the same the frequency remain unchanged okay so the frequency will not change if the velocity change or the wavelength change always remember this eh? okay so frequency always constant uh, the second things that you need to know is the velocity the velocity of a wave determined by the medium of the propagations for example for sound wave the medium can be solid or liquid or gas okay and sound wave travel the fastest in solid and the slowest in uh, gas okay so the medium affect the speed 
but it is not affected by the frequency of the wavelength. You cannot say I increase the frequency, I increase the speed. Cannot. So the frequency cannot change the speed. Only the medium of the propagations can change the speed. For sound wave, if it travel in solid, it will be very fast. If it travel in air, it will be very slow. Okay, so that are the factors that affect. It's not the frequency. Yeah? That is not an important things that you need to know. Lastly, wavelength. Okay, so what are the factors that affect wavelength? Wavelength is affected by both of this velocity and frequency. So it depends on the velocity and frequency is directly proportional to the velocity but inversely proportional to the frequency. It means that if the speed is high, the wavelength is high. But if the frequency is high, then the, uh, the wavelength is low. So the wavelength is affected by both of this. Eh? Frequency is affected by the source. Velocity affected by the medium. Wavelength is affected by both the velocity and the frequency. So if they ask you to plot the graph for lambda against v and lambda, so lambda against v and lambda against f. So now since lambda is directly proportional to v, yeah, so you will get a straight line that passes through the origin. Eh? And if it's inversely proportional, then it will be a graph like this. So it's a curve. So this may come up, usually it's in objective questions. Eh? They give you a few graphs and then they ask you which one is correct. So for lambda against V, yeah, it's a straight line passes through the origin because they are directly proportional. And lambda against F is a curve like this.